Hey, how's it going, guys? What a beautiful day it is today. It's a blessed and prosperous day as always. Well, at least for me. I'm not sure about you, hopefully. Anyway, it's 9 for 65, and today I want to talk about bumping up your biophotons and why that's important. All right, well, first of all, what's a biophoton? A biophoton is basically like a molecule that's inside of us that basically expands and grows depending on how we are on the inside, the way we perceive things, how much um, health we have, how much we're in shape. So people that are really negative, they're on the negative spectrum. The ones that are lethargic, tired, gluttony, lazy, um, always depressed, always bickering, fighting, and uh, just can't ever see the good in anything. They have a low level of biophotons. Now on the flip side, the ones that are happy, the ones that are optimistic, the ones that set goals and achieve them, the ones that know that they're here for a reason on this planet and they have a sense of purpose and they want to help others and they're kind and polite and they're full of integrity and dedication and motivation and recreation and just loyal. Those are the ones with the high levels of biophotons. Now, the way we boost our biophotons is by getting back in tune with nature. The sole existence of our universe, nature, which was created by God. But anyway, the biophoton levels play a role in how we perceive things. So if something bad happens in your life, you know, it's inevitable. Things are going to happen that we don't have control of, but it's how we handle those things. It's how we accept them and adapt and move on. But more importantly, learn from them so we actually take something good out of the situation. Because people that always have something good going on in their life, there's something wrong with them. It's a must to have bad things because without bad things, we won't know or appreciate good things. It's like... You put your hand on the flame, you get burned, and then now you know not to do that. You fall off a cliff, you survive, now you know not to be so close to that cliff or to be more careful next time. So it's kind of like that. So with biophotons being advanced and improved and just accumulating inside of us, it basically boosts our common sense. It's basically our intuition, our inertia, whatever you want to call it, our ether level, our, um, just our spiritual side. <clears throat> so I realized as I stopped committing as much sin, which are basically things that God is displeased by, breaking his word and law and stuff like that, as I stopped doing that as much, I thought the photons started to increase. And then my level of discernment increased to where I started figuring out what my purpose is and what to do and how to live. Now, that doesn't mean that I am to the level where I want to be or even need to be for that even higher level of biophotons, but it's a process and I'm getting there. And you can too. So don't worry about the things you can't change, but focus on the things that you can change because whenever you focus on the things you can change, some of the things that you can't change, you might just accept, or it might change be just because you realized it wasn't really a big deal anyway. It's like, you know, ah, my, my jaw hurts really bad right now, but the underlying effect isn't my jaw that's causing the pain. It might be a tooth infection. So once I clear up my tooth infection, then my jaw pain will go away. I didn't have to get jaw surgery or anything. So basically get to the root of the problem and it's going to fix many things because all of our body parts are connected one way, shape, or form. So your jaw being in pain might cause migraines. So you may not have migraines because of my jaw, but that's because of my tooth. But really, the main problem was your mindset because your tooth infection was caused by your lack of doing, which we do from our thoughts. Our thoughts create actions. So had you have brush your teeth more or maybe eat less sweets or whatever it may have prevented the toothache or the tooth infection which would have prevented the jaw pain which would have 
prevented the migraine. And then it's like, an example for me, it's like, I run a lot. In fact, I was just running. Um, so I noticed with like certain types of injuries, if my, let's just say if it's like my pinky toe, just my littlest toe, even just one of them, not both. If that one little toe is in pain, like the tiniest toe is in pain, right? That's going to throw off my whole equilibrium. It's going to throw it all off because while I'm running, I'm going to feel that pain. It's going to transfer over to my next toe, which may transfer to like the bottom of my feet mentally, which will then stagger into my posture, which will then affect the other side because now I'm running with a limp, which then will affect my mind more because I'm like, man, I want to have a good run, which might get me depressed, which might get me to think of just depression and other things that caused depression for me in the past, which then it just expands and expands and opens up to many other things. So that one little thing just created an entire plethora of negative thoughts and feelings. So as you boost your biophotons, you learn to have basically to practice preventative measures for certain things. And to realize it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. You're, you'll be fine. You know, we all have our bad days with certain things. Better luck next time. It's always tomorrow. Then I can think of a positive thing like, well, I, I can't do my run today because of this problem. However, me not training is like training because my body is recovering more from yesterday. So I'm taking more time to recover so I can go out harder tomorrow. And I can count even more. See? So I automatically flipped all that negativity into a positive. But with people with lower bio photon levels, they're like, man, it's all messed up. Now I'm not going to be able to run for a while. And even tomorrow, what if I'm still in pain? Don't think about that. So, like, whenever I sprained my ankle a few weeks ago, well, more like a month ago, um, I was, I was like, man, I, like, I was upset because I was like, it's, it's been a while since I had an injury. It was all silly. It's just something that, you know, I could have prevented, but the way I just ended up tying my shoes too tight and then loosening them and misstepping. And then like my ankle was like swollen, super big, super bad. And I still ran on it because I had to get home. Then I had to walk for a bit. I was like, man, I'm not gonna be able to run for a while. Basically, the, the stuff I was just saying about negative people. But instantly, I was like, okay, I'm going to be fine. Because I worked the next morning. And I was like, man, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I just went home. I put ice on it. It was so hard to even walk. I felt so messed up. Once again, from that one little thing, which turned out to be like a huge swollen ankle. But I couldn't walk. It was It was crazy. But then, the next day, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be able to run today, but I know tomorrow, like, so two days from the incident, I'll be able to run. But I was able to walk, and I was able to get to work, and I was fine, and nobody knew, like, I didn't limp or anything. I was good, so I stayed positive, because that stress and negativity you put on yourself can reflect upon your physical health, too. Because stress is a killer. Stress will get your hair gray. Stress will basically block the absorption of nutrients from food. Stress will just mess you up. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get us all stressed out in every way, shape, or form. That's why the news is always talking about negative things. See, all this suppression is to get our biophoton levels to be non-existent. It's to have you not even know what they are. Because I guarantee at least... 80% of the, my audience that have seen this video or anything had n never even heard of the word biophoton before this. I'm going to put a link in the description discussing more about biophotons. But <clears throat> I'm telling you, we all have biophotons, it's just some people have a higher level. And it's automatically, like, once you know something, you know it. It's, it's just like riding a bike. Once you ride a bike, even if you don't ride for many years, it's, it's embedded inside of you. So once you get more stuff, you're going to feel better regardless. 
And once again with the doggy. Well, this time it's just a little doggy. It's not the big one. I'm starting to get attached to these dogs. Even though I only see them for about a minute every day for the most part. <sighs> so yeah, biophotons. You gotta boost them, guys. I'm making this video short, not because these dogs kind of annoying, but because that's mainly it. You gotta boost them. So yeah, real fast, two tips. Eat right, exercise, and sleep often. And you will automatically boost your biophoton levels. As always, guys, have a blessed, prosperous day. Look at this puppy. Peace.